Hi, this is Ryan Peel, Pioneer Field Agronomist in West Central Indiana. Today I want to talk just a little bit about the 2019 weed assessment here early on in the spring. Many wheat fields kind of look like the one represented here in the picture. They're showing some green, but there's still a nice bronzing tint out there that just, you know, by the third week of March, we would be thinking that these things would really be starting to green up a little bit more. And normally we're thinking they are, but this year with the cold and, and the saturated soils, this is taking a little bit longer to get to green up stage. So as we look a little closer, we can see the brown obviously in the row, but we also see quite a bit of green coming back. As I've been watching these things week after week, it's actually really changing quite a bit. We, we are getting a lot of green coming back into the plant. There There is life coming back to the wheat. So that's a promising thing as we see some more heat here over the next week or so. I think we're going to see a lot more changes. So as we dig a little deeper, I, I dug up a sample to be able to tear it apart and look at it a little bit closer. But as, as first inspection here, you can just kind of see quite a bit of purple in there. And again, that's just uh, another sign of the wheat wants to grow and it doesn't have anywhere to go with the sugars. So they're just depositing them out there because, again, the cold, damp temperatures. So you're likely going to see some of that as well. So as we get the wheat kind of the mud all off of it and wash the roots wash and look at it a little bit closer, we can see that obviously there's not a lot above ground. But when you look down at the root system, there's there's a lot of roots there. I mean, they're... They are growing, they're, they're healthy, they got some white there just right around the crown, so the roots look encouraging. So I just talked about the white there around the crown. If you take a look at this picture, it, it's a good uh, representation of it. This is a picture out of a crop focus that I, I grabbed, and it shows the white, the healthy on the left right there with the crown, and the one on the right kind of shows where you're, you're browning and just not looking there so good right there close to the crown. So you're going to see some variability too. So this is an example of a place where I found some really, really good wheat. Probably had a little more snow cover. You know, when it was cold, it might not have had quite as much water sitting on it. Could have been a little less compaction. Whatever the case, there, there's going to be some variability with out in, out in the field. Hopefully this picture, if nothing else, will really encourage you. I mean, you, you look at the picture on the left. Those were the ones that were challenged. The ones on the right were the ones that looked a little bit better. Above ground, they look a lot different, but when you look below ground, the, the root systems are pretty similar. There's a little more mass and the ones are a little bit healthier, but they're, they're still, the root systems are there. They're going to take off and flourish soon. All right, so this is really where the rubber hits the roads. We need to try to count some plants. This can be tricky. This is not the easiest thing in the world to do, but really we want to see 25 plants or more to ideally hit our 100% yield potential. We still have time for some extra tillering as nitrogen goes on, these things take off, but really we need we need to be seeing that 25, 20, 25 plants plus to really hit the mark. So the bottom line, I think the wheat crop is really progressing well. It's behind from what we would like to see it being, kind of from what it is normally. However, it is making good progress. I think if we stay patient with it, I really feel like it's going to come along and it's probably going to be pretty well. So, hey, thanks for listening and have a great day. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.